All right, everybody, my name is Ted Delacath, and I'm here to unpack one of McChrystal Group's strategic planning tools called the Quarterly Strategic Review. And now, before we get to the Quarterly Strategic Review, I have to reintroduce two tools that we use in the QSR. And so the first is called the Alignment Triangle. You may have seen this before. I'm not going to go into the nuances of it. I'm just going to point out the wave tops. What you see at the top here, these are outcomes. And I like to think of them as providing direction and motivation. And on the bottom half is really where we start to do the work. And those are going to be the activities that make the top possible. And so I like to think of, as a bit of a data nerd or wannabe, these are my leading indicators that if all goes well, feed up and into my outcomes. So that's the first tool, the alignment triangle. The second tool we've talked about quite a bit here, and that is our operating rhythm. And our operating rhythm on this y-axis, we break into the strategic, the operational, and the tactical. And now one glossed over point that folks often miss, with the, with the x-axis being time, the cadence by which these layers work are dependent on your environment. So when we're talking about strategic planning, we like to think the top as one to three years. We like to think the operational as four to six months. And we like to think the tactical as one to three months. So I start with the alignment triangle and the operating rhythm because they're going to be very important as we go into what differentiates the quarterly strategic review from other annual planning processes. So this is what we see most organizations do. Most organizations if they're operating off of a January 1st annual plan, they come together and starting each October, they spend a lot of energy, what should normally be less frequent interactions with executives as they work on budget, they work on OKRs, they work on maybe a three to five year annual plan that they come back to every year. And here's the problem with that. We call it the accordion problem. So when you step off on, on Q1 and you're looking towards 31 December out here, you think that your plan is solid. But what happens? And this happens to all of us because everybody's got a plan until they get punched in the mouth, as Mike Tyson reminds us. You had some activity happen in Q1 that in Q2 you probably have to make up for. People left. You didn't hit this objective. You have to rework some things. And that's natural. The problem is you are sticking to this Q4 backstop. It's an arbitrary date that you set probably three or so months ago, and now you have to make up for it. And now you can probably see what's happening is that when we get to Q3, we're further compressing, and that's why we call it the accordion problem. You're trying to do more and more and more in less and less time. And this only gets tighter and tighter as you get to quarter, quarter four. I'll just hit this in a couple of ways. We call it, you're fighting the plan rather than fighting the fight. You're sticking to something that you said 12 months ago, rather than saying, what's the reality of the situation now? So here's how we think differently. We start with an alignment triangle process, and this usually takes one to three months. It is about top-down guidance, and then we work with bottom-up refinement. And then at the very end, we have an alignment triangle that we stretch out across usually six quarters. And now that can be across two quarters, four quarters, six quarters, eight quarters. That needs to be dictated by your environment and how mature your organization is. So at the end of our ideal engagement, we've spent one to three months, we have what we call these alignment triangles that spread out across six quarters. Your entire organization is aligned, even if they're not agreed, because they've been informed and they've taken part in the process. And so these, these alignment triangles are what we have when we move into our quarterly strategic review. And what differentiates us from others, when we think about the quarterly strategic review, is as we think about these quarters and six, once we get to the end of quarter one, we have our after action review and we think about our time, our resources, and our activities and how we need to update those such that quarter one now informs our new six quarter focus. And so two becomes one and so on, such that we never stop and are held by an arbitrary place marker that we made some months ago. We're looking at the new environment and figuring out how do we need to adapt to execute. So these are the wave tops of the quarterly strategic review. If you'd like to learn more, we encourage you to reach out to the McChrystal Group. We're here to serve you and your teams as you continue to evolve. So thank you so much for your time and look forward to the next discussion.